Welcome back gardeners. Today we're tackling one of the most important aspects of gardening, choosing the right soil. Whether you're starting a new garden bed or filling up your raised beds, the soil you pick can make all the difference. I'm Steve and from the Celtic Farm and in this video we'll explore the different types of soil you can find at home improvement stores and what they're best used for and how to make the right choice for your garden. I know it can be very overwhelming when you walk into uh, a home improvement store and go back to the garden center. There's all different types of soil and amendments and all those types of things. So let's go ahead and dive in and I'll give you some recommendations for the different types of soil. First up, we have topsoil. Topsoil is the uppermost layer of soil and is rich in organic matter and microorganisms. Topsoil is great for general gardening, lawn care, and flower beds. To use it, spread a 2-3 to three inch layer over your garden bed and mix it into the existing soil. You'll find topsoil bags available in bulk or at most of the home improvement stores. Next, we have garden soil. This is a mixture of topsoil, compost, and other organic materials. Garden soil is perfect for vegetable gardens and flower beds. You can combine it with your existing soil to improve texture, fertility, and aim for about a 50-50 mix. Look for bags labeled for specific garden types like vegetable gardens or flower beds. Next, potting soil. Potting soil is typically a soilless mix that contains peat moss, vermiculite, and perlite. Some variations will have some, uh, some other ingredients as well. It's ideal for container gardening and indoor plants, and you can use it straight from the bag for pots and containers, and it ensures good drainage and uh, and will help uh, your plants thrive. You can find potting soil in various sizes from small bags for house plants to large bags for container gardens. Next up, compost. Compost is decomposed organic matter rich in nutrients. It's excellent for enriching garden soil and great as a mulch. Mix it into your garden soil or spread a two inch layer as much as uh, as you can uh, to retain moisture and suppress weeds. Bag compost is often labeled either as organic uh, or not and you can find that in your soil section. Next, raised bed soil is designed specifically for use in raised garden beds. It's a nice blend of topsoil compost and other organic matter. You can fill your raised beds with this mix and it will provide for optimal plant growth. Look for soil that is specifically labeled for raised beds. For cactus and succulent lovers, soil is a fast, uh, the cactus and succulent soil is a fast draining mix that often contains a bit of sand, perlite, and a small amount of organic matter. Use it straight from the bag for planting cacti and succulents in pots or in garden beds. You usually find it in the indoor plant soil section. Peat moss can be uh, can be used for a variety of things, and it's decomposed sphagnum moss that retains moisture and improves soil aeration. You can mix it into garden soil or use it as a component in potting, and uh, it's typically sold in compressed bales or bags. Vermiculite and perlite are great for improving soil moisture retention and soil aeration. You can mix them into the soil or potting mixes at a ratio suited to your plant's needs. You'll find these in small to large bags, often in the same section as the potting soil. Next, manure, whether from chickens or cows, is rich in nitrogen and other nutrients. You can mix it into garden soil in the fall or spring, allowing it to decompose and release nutrients. Be cautious with fresh manure as it can burn plants. Bag manure is typically available near the compost and soil products. So, now some tips for buying soil. Number one, test your soil to understand its pH and nutrient levels so you have a starting point. Look for quality soil that's dark, crumbly, and free of debris. Consider organic options for a more sustainable choice, especially if you're eating vegetables that come from that garden. Read labels carefully to ensure you're getting the right type for your needs. And don't hesitate to ask for advice from the garden center staff. Uh, they're fairly knowledgeable and can, can help you out. So, selecting the right soil for your garden is essential for healthy plant growth. Home improvement stores do offer a variety of soil types tailored to your different gardening needs. And you can also order from uh, soil providers within your area 
Um, typically, nurseries can deliver as well and, and give you bulk soil if you've got a large project. So remember to test your soil, read labels, and choose the best type for your specific needs. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more gardening tips and tricks. Happy gardening from Celtic Farm.